the buffalo are all excited. They're out playing tag. It looks like someone was having a little too much fun in that Mustang. Unfortunately, this excursion is still too high for this jack we welded on. It's great on the truck though. The old truck wouldn't start for me this morning. I think I've got an electrical connection wrong with it because the lights won't come on, nothing will come on. The battery seems connected good, the cables seem connected. I've got to go through it. But for now, we've got to go get some oil filled pipes, so we're taking the excursion. We'll be back. What do you say we go to Oklahoma for some fencing supplies? So I know I've been talking about getting oil filled pipe. Uh, for the fence for quite a while now. Some of the hang up as of recently has actually been the war that's going on between Russia and Ukraine. That and then this hyperinflation, the prices of this oil field pipe has just been driven through the roof. It's been insane to see what it's climbed up to. The main reason why it's climbing so fast is because it's becoming very scarce. I'd been waiting on a phone call from a gentleman where I got my pipe last year. He was supposed to see if he could locate any more pipe and it's been uh, no luck so far. So I started shopping around, found a guy in Oklahoma who hasn't been price gouging anyway. Uh, it is a lot higher than what I paid last year. Um, so we're gonna head down there. I only have a 20 foot trailer and he said he can cut uh, 16 foot off for me so that they'll all fit on the 20 foot trailer so we don't have a deja vu of the story that I told you guys picking up oil filled pipe oh eight or nine years ago where it started lifting the back end of the vehicle up because they hung off the trailer so far that was a nightmare so we'll be on the road all day long today Imagine that, a vehicle that gets nine miles to the gallon is out of gas. Well, I think we got a little over three hours to go. You know that feeling you get whenever you leave on a long trip and you feel like you left something? Yeah, well, I got that feeling and this time I did. I left the chains at home. We stopped here at Orsland's. We're gonna get some straps instead because I have a bunch of chains at home. I don't want any more chains. I could use a couple more straps though. Well, Two brand new ratchet straps. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a blessing. You too. That restaurant makes me hungry over there. A friend of mine took me over there about a month or two ago to Brahms. I don't know if you ever have them in your area, but man, they're good. I have to control my cravings. Maybe we'll eat there on the way back. Who knows? Coffeeville, Kansas. It's kind of a nice little small town right on the border of Oklahoma. It looks like someone was having a little too much fun in that Mustang. Keep right at the fork. Tulsa. More Brahms on that exit. It's too tempting. I love a good cheeseburger and milkshake. Oklahoma is interesting to me because 
Parts around Tulsa are just really flat. You can see for miles. And then there's other parts like here that's just on the other side of Tulsa and it's like rolling hills. The Oklahoma Highway Patrol has been thick down here. There have been a lot of troopers I've seen just in this drive today. Thought about maybe I should get a hold of Daniel Arms with Arms Family Homestead if I get a ticket. Maybe he can get me out of it. No, I don't think I'll do that. All jokes aside, I actually used to study to be a police officer when I was in high school. So I understand what it's like and I understand they're just doing their job. I still don't like getting tickets though. I guess I should just make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to, right? It's nice and warm out today. I think today might be a good day for a swim. The water's probably a little too cold though. This is quite the place. Scrap iron everywhere. around here. They got just about everything you can imagine out here. All sorts of pipe. In a quarter mile, turn right onto West 9th Street. What a beautiful country out here. It's a little warm. Turn Hello. right onto West 9th Street, EO 720 Road. Can I get a number two meal with everything on it? Can I get a sweet tea and a strawberry, small strawberry milkshake? Thank you. Thank you. I couldn't resist. My cruise control or my cigarette lighters are not working and I need my cigarette lighter to charge my phone for my GPS to get home. I can see that it's broken. It's definitely broken. Hopefully it's the one to the uh, cigarette lighter and cruise control because there's no diagram. I can't tell. Well, that wasn't the fuse. We'll figure it out how to get home. It's crazy how much we rely on technology. When it fails us, it feels like you're up a creek. Well, we made it back in one piece. Well, let's see if we can make heads or tails out of what's going on with this truck. It doesn't have power to the lights or anything. So it's gotta be something that has to do with the battery. Well, we've got power at the battery. Let's see where we're losing it. I think I found the culprit. Had a loose wire here, it pulled the rest of them out and connected them and the lights came on so i think this is it let's go see if we can find a connector to put on there um and hopefully that'll be it rosie well i don't have the right connectors to put this together like it's supposed to be so 
We're gonna wrap it up with electrical tape and we're gonna come back, put some good connectors on it. At least this should uh, get us going for today. That's much better. We need to hook up to this trailer and then we'll put, it, put all the uh, pipe in the barn where we will cut it. Not today though. finally enough stuff out of this barn that we can pull all the way through that makes it really nice there's still some more stuff left but I don't think uh, anyone else is coming to pick stuff up so it's basically gonna be my responsibility to clean everything up we're not gonna do it today but at some point we're gonna try to get this thing all straightened out I'm a little OCD and this is a little too much clutter for me the pipe supplier that I um, used this time they actually cut the pipe um, for free. So I had them cut it in 16 foot sections. And what we'll, that will allow us to do is take them and just bust them in half into our eight foot pieces. But then the braces we're gonna have to angle. Um, so I'm still gonna have to clean up some of the edges. They cut them with a torch, which is a really jagged cut, but at least it's there. And then we'll come back through with the chop saw um, and we'll clean everything up but this is a lot more manageable than what I'm used to I'm used to like 31 32 foot long pieces um, and they're really heavy and they're really hard to manage this is really really nice even though we paid an arm and a leg for it This is what they call grade A. It's not supposed to have any splits or bends in it, which will make it a lot easier to do our fencing. Well, I think what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna set up my metal table saw somewhere in here to cut these. So I think we'll offload them off to this side right here. It doesn't look like many, but there's actually 64 16 foot sticks. So let's offload this. It ought to be a good workout for me. May as well set it on this pallet here. That's a workout. Those things weigh probably, depending upon the pipe, somewhere around 75 to 100 pounds a piece, even just the 16 footers. So that's a lot of weight. My shoulders are gonna be hurting tomorrow. Most all of it is on the pallet. We got a couple in the front that fell off the pallet, but they won't be like that for long. Those will all be cut up and in the holes and in concrete here in the next couple weeks. Well, doesn't look like we have anything in that trap. I think uh, I might move that one to a different tree. A friend of mine said that the height is fine, but he said that if the limb moves a little bit, he's found that they like a little bit more secure location. So we'll try to move that today if we have time. We'll check on the other one a little bit later today. It's down in the front of the property. That oil filled pipe, it's pretty messy. Well, I was planning on picking up concrete from a local store today, uh, but their on sale price was a lot higher than a big chain store that's orange. And then if you order uh, pallets at a time, it's even cheaper. And then they only charge like 35 bucks to deliver it. So we're gonna have that delivered here instead of going and picking it up. That means it freed me up to do a couple more things today and I've got a load of just junk and stuff from the house 
We're going to uh, see if we can straighten up some of this barn, see if we can clear out some in this corner um, and kind of give us some breathing room. Okay, that is a lot better. We've got that corner cleaned up, got some stuff on the shelves, moved the garage doors. Those are garage doors that are going to go on either end uh, eventually whenever I have time. And then we've got this pile. And then that second bench over there is all stuff that was just left. Uh, Philip said I can have everything in there. Most of it is just trash, um, but there is a few things that are good. So we'll go through that at a later date. But this is a lot more manageable now. So we have a workbench over here. We've got a compressor that we've got to do some work on. This compressor I need to do some work on. Pull the motor off of that, put it on that one. Um, just all sorts of projects. The Buffalo are all excited. They're out playing tag. Of course, they decided to stop. They get in these really playful moods and they'll actually play tag. They'll go up and they'll hit one another and then it's kind of like their turn. And then they'll run, run after the other ones. Well, there you go. Start going again. I love that prance that they do. What are you guys doing, huh? You in a playful mood? Springtime, I think that's what it is. Makes everybody in a good mood. Well, while they figure out whether or not they're gonna start playing games again, I'm going to go around and we're going to check this fence one more time. I'm going to count up all those holes. We did that last week, but we're going to count them all up. I need to differentiate how many braces I need and how many actual uh, vertical posts I need. There they go again. Taking off across the field. They're really going at it this evening. I love it how they get so tired, their tongue actually hangs out. Wish I could get some better footage, but I know the moment I get out a drone or something like that, they'll stop. It's the way it always is. You can always tell when they're getting ready to stop because all their tongues start hanging out and they start getting exhausted. They'll go that way a little bit longer, maybe 30 seconds or a minute, and then they quit. They're going for quite a while tonight, though. I love it. One of the many fun things about raising buffalo. You can hear that snapping. I looked at this the other day. This is a broken insulator. There's a hairline fracture in that porcelain insulator and it is causing the grounded wire to come in contact with the uh, non-grounded wire, the hot wire. So we need to replace that. The fence is still hot, it's just pulling a lot of the juice down so it's not as hot as it should be. But I don't have time to fix that tonight. I think they think it's time for some hay after that long workout. Okay, so we're gonna try to map this out. That's wrong. I have to start over. Okay, that is the gist of the way the fence is. It's really kind of funky. This is going to be the majority of the pasture, but then there's this kind of cutout around 
that new house that we bought. So we just need to figure out how many braces we need on all of these and how many corner posts. So when I counted off all the posts last, that basically told me how much oil field pipe I needed to purchase, but I did not differentiate how many braces. By differentiating how many braces there are and how many posts, that will tell me how many like inline strainers I need, how many crimps, how many, uh, just all the fencing components. So I really need to know how many braces and how many posts are. I wish I would have counted before, but we can do it now. Okay, this is what we got. I forgot we have the pond here. This is, none of this is to scale, but this is a rough uh, drawing of basically where we have all our posts and how many H braces and everything we need. This is quite a few, if you can tell. Um, we've got a lot of work to do. This is gonna be a big fencing project. This isn't, I wish it was just a nice big square, but there's too many things we gotta go around. So let's count all these up. Okay, there's our total. We got 48 H braces and 39 posts. Now by figuring that out, uh, I can figure out how many of the uh, fencing components we need. I think it's starting to get a little too late to head out and get fencing components tonight. So I think we'll go uh, check on that one bee trap to see if we have any bees in the other one and then Notice that the uh, buffalo are starting to get a little bit low on hay, so we'll go ahead and uh, hay them. No bees in there. Red buds are pretty though. had a lot of hay left. Got a lot more now. Watch out. Look out. It's all stuck on your head.
they all have to try the new hay even though the old stuff is the same. Finally was able to get the garden tilled up. A good friend of mine came over with his tractor and tiller on the back end and got this all done. It's somewhere around like 35 by 65 or something like that. We don't have it planted yet. It's been a little too chilly. We've got some seeds started inside, um, but then the rest of it should be planted here soon. Probably gonna wait a week or two because it's supposed to get down into the 30s again this week. It's just kind of dragging out. Winter is. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys are interested in supporting our channel on Patreon, head on over there. There's a link in the description below. There is some more content over there, and we really appreciate all of our Patreon supporters. We'll see you guys next time. What do you know there, Rosie?